The concept behind the AS-42 Sahariana appeared in the minds of Italian designers in 1942, when the famous British and Commonwealth long-range desert groups, with their distinctive heavily armed and unarmored long-range vehicles, were breaking far behind access lines, creating havoc in refilling bases or airfields. At the same time, the large-scale reconnaissance tasks were very valuable to Allied intelligence. The Regio Esercito tried to emulate these units by using a project that Spaviberti had proposed a year before, based on the chassis of the AB-41 armored car, itself derived from the chassis of the Fiat Spa DM-40 medium artillery tractor. The AS-42 Sahariana was a reconnaissance car, initially unarmed. However, under pressure from the Italian Royal Army's high command, the vehicles received heavy armament. The Spaviberti AS-42 was rapidly developed at the beginning of 1942. The prototype was presented to the army on July 9, 1942, passed all tests, and was put into production in the Spaviberti factory in Turin as early as August 1942. Welcome to a new Tank Encyclopedia voiced article, covering a rather little known Italian vehicle. Thank you for watching and if you like these kinds of videos, do remember to subscribe and hit that bell button. Basically, the chassis of the AB-41 was left intact, but the armored hull was completely remodeled and the vehicle took a car-like shape. The front was tilted and housed a massive spare wheel and pioneer tools. Two spades were attached to the left side of the front hood, and a pickaxe on the left rear side. The mudguards were remodeled, and the front ones held the tripods for the machine guns. At the front of the mudguards, two jerry cans were kept on each side for the transport of drinking water, recognizable by the white crosses painted on the side. The mudguards at the back had toolboxes on top and two perforated metal plates used for unditching the vehicle if it got stuck in the sand. On the rear of the right mudguard was the muffler, while on the left mudguard was a plate with a stoplight. The open central combat compartment was armored on the sides and was 3.2 meters long and 1.75 meters wide. Armor was 17 millimeters all around the chassis. The windshield had three bulletproof glass panels derived from glass made for aeronautical use. These were 12 millimeters thick, although their still equivalent was significantly less. The windshield was equipped with rear view mirrors and could be folded down. Ground clearance was 0.35 meters with the possibility of fording 0.7 meters of water. The total weight decreased from the AB-41's 7.5 tons to 4 tons in an empty AS-42. Fully battle ready, with the primary armament fixed, full tanks and full ammunition load, the vehicle reached 6.5 tons. The vehicle had 4x4 traction, but only the front wheels were steered, like on the original chassis of the Fiat Spa TM40. And therefore, the rear driving position, characteristic of the AB armored car series, was removed. The tires used on the AS42 were produced by Pirelli in Milan, as were almost all the tires on Italian vehicles. The AS used the same tires as the AB armored car series, the Pirelli Libia 9.75x24 and Libia Rinforzato tires for use in the sandy soils of North Africa. The Artiglio and Artiglio Asezione Maggiorata tires, designed for use in Italy and Europe, were later used in the Russian steppe. In 1942, new tires were studied for the new camionette, which could also be used on AB series armored cars. Pirelli Sigilo Verde tires, again for sandy soils, 
and Pirelli Riflex tires for use in Europe. It should be noted that, due to the poor logistics of the Royal Italian Army and the almost non-existent logistics of the Esercito Nazionale Repubblicano, the National Republican Army, AB armored cars and camionette used any tires available. It is therefore not rare to find AB-41 or AB-43 armored cars with Riflex tires and AS-42 with Libya tires. By design, a total of 20 fuel jerry cans with a capacity of 20 liters each could be transported in two rows of five on each side of the fighting compartment. In total, each AS-42 could carry 24 jerry cans, four of which were for water. However, due to their use in North Africa, many more jerry cans were transported, crammed in every free space to increase the range of the vehicle and of the crew. The AS-42 was equipped with a torpolin. It provided cover from the elements from the top and the rear, but not from the sides of the camionette. There was also a torpolin to cover the windshield and two smaller ones for the frontal lights. When not used, all the turpolins, including the folding rods that supported them, were rolled up and fastened with straps on the back of the fighting compartment. The 145-liter fuel tank allowed a range of 535 kilometers, which was increased to a total of 2,000 kilometers with the additional 400 liters transported in jerry cans. The vehicle consumed around a liter of gasoline for every 3.7 kilometers. The armored rear compartment was not modified. The 430 kilogram heavy engine was a six cylinder petrol Fiat Spa ABM2, which gave 88 horsepower, the same as in the AB41. The automotive performance was greatly improved, with a maximum road speed of 84 kilometers an hour and up to 50 km an hour off-road. The fuel tank was located above the engine, while the 3 liters oil tank was to the left of the engine. There were two water tanks above the engine compartment and one in the wooden bulkhead between the engine compartment and the combat compartment. The armor on the outside of this compartment was 5 mm thick. The engine cooling water was contained in a 32 liter tank above the engine in the front. The large volume in the open central position allowed the mounting of considerably heavy armament. Depending on the weapon, a different pedestal was situated in the middle of this open central position, which, with different attachment points, could mount one of several weapons, including a rapid-fire anti-aircraft and anti-tank Breda 2065 Mod 1935 gun, an anti-tank infantry 47 by 32 Modelo 1935 support gun, or a Solothurn S18-1000 20mm anti-tank rifle, called Carabina S by the Italian soldiers. Secondary armament consisted of Breda 38 or Breda 37 8x59mm machine guns. Depending on the mission, one to three of these weapons could be mounted on supports positioned to the right of the driver and on the left and right sides of the rear part of the fighting compartment. On several camionetas, the secondary armament consisted of captured British Vickers K machine guns. These were famously used on LRDG vehicles throughout the North African campaign. All the mounts for the main and secondary armament could be rotated 360 degrees. Ammunition was left inside its boxes, scattered in the combat compartment due to a lack of ammunition racks. For this reason, the quantity of ammunition could vary from mission to mission. In addition to the driver's seat, the crew members that handled the weapons on board were seated on folding seats on either side of the fighting compartment two on the right and one on the left. In some cases, the crew consisted of five or six members crammed into the little vehicle. From September to November 1942, 
the first batch of 140 vehicles was delivered to the Royal Army. This delay was caused by a bombing of the Spaviberti factory in Turin during the previous weeks, which destroyed several AS-42s. The Saharianas that arrived in North Africa were used for raids in the desert, as originally planned. Their low profile allowed them to hide behind the dunes and wait for the enemy's arrival without being seen. Their great range allowed them to pursue enemy forces for long periods and to fight LRDG teams effectively. Entering service in December 1942, the AS-42 participated in the final stages of the Libyan campaign and the entire Tunisian campaign. They were mainly assigned to the Otto Avia Saharan battalions, Italian-specific battalions meant for close cooperation between aircraft and land vehicles of the army, and to the 103rd Battaglione and Raggruppamento Sahariano. These last ones were divided in five companies, located in different positions. The first company was in Marada, the second in Murzuk, the third in Seba and in Hon, while the fourth and fifth faced the LRDG in the Siva Oasis and groups of French raiders commanded by Philippe Leclerc stationed in Chad. They had a claimed kill ratio of 1 to 5, capturing dozens of British armed or transport vehicles. In 1943, LRDG Command issued an order to attack only if there were no high numbers of Camioneta AS-42 in the area. This meant the British needed aerial reconnaissance before attacking, which lowered the effectiveness of the LRDG. During the Tunisian campaign, all the vehicles of the Otto Avio Saharan battalions and 103rd Battaglione Sahariano were lost in action, along with the majority of the Arditi. The Arditi were an elite unit of the Royal Italian Army entrusted with the AS-42. They fought bravely against the Allied troops that had surrounded them. On April 26, 1942, the 10th Arditi Regiment was established, divided into three companies. Its troops were composed of soldiers trained for the special forces of the Royal Italian Army, such as sappers, paratroopers and swimmers. They were moved into this regiment for distinguishing themselves as excellent drivers. The three companies were each equipped with 24 Camionete AS-42 for a total of 72 vehicles, each divided into four patrol groups with two officers and 18 or more soldiers, armed with Carcano Model 191 TS rifles or MAB-38A submachine guns, Beretta M1934 pistols and a dagger. After April 1943, all the companies were active in Sicily for anti-paratrooper patrols. Between July 13th and 14th, the second company repulsed an attack by British paratroopers. On the night of July 14th, at Primo Sole, six camionette fought at the Primo Sole bridge over the Simeto River. The Arditi soldiers fired on their adversaries with personal weapons without using the weapons on board due to poor visibility. Four AS-42s were destroyed by mortar shells, but the 32 Arditi survivors fought along with a group of German paratroopers for another eight days. On August 13th, the surviving camionette and their crews were moved to the Italian peninsula and taken to Santa Severa, their headquarters, located near Rome to reorganize the companies, replacing the fallen Arditi and destroyed vehicles. On 8th September, the day of the armistice, the companies were not involved in action, but the various groups chose their fate independently. The 1st Battalion joined the Allies and was renamed as the 9th Reparto d'Assalto. The 2nd Battalion joined the new Salo Republic, founded by Benito Mussolini in northern Italy on 23rd September without vehicles, ending in the Division San Marco, 
fighting for the rest of the war without vehicles as assault infantry. After intense fighting against German troops in Rome between 8th and 10th September, the vehicles that were captured by the Italian fascists and Germans went to equip an entire company of Arditi that decided to join the Germans. This would be the Italian Arditi Community Driver Group that served in the 2nd Fallschirmjäger Division Ramke. This unit fought on the Eastern Front from October 1943 until the summer of 1944 against the Red Army. The Camionete, meant for the Saharan Desert, ended up fighting in the Russian frozen steppes, where temperatures reached minus 25 degrees Celsius. Of the other battalions of the Tenfaditi, not much is known. They probably broke up and each soldier or small group decided for themselves what they would do. Some joined the partisan resistance, others joined the Republic of Salo, others went to the co-belligerent Italian army, and others fled home to their families. The company that fought with the Ramke division then retreated to Romania and finally to Germany in the spring of 1944. In June 1944, the Arditi was sent to Normandy to fight the Allies that had just disembarked. There, a group was captured by the Americans during the battle and the surrender of Brest, while other Arditi, with their surviving AS-42s, fought in Belgium and Holland. They faced British soldiers in Arnhem during Operation Market Garden. After all these events, in the autumn of 1944, the survivors returned with their last AS-42s to Italy and fought for the Salo Republic in the Republican National Army. The Italian police in Africa, an Italian police corps used for the security of the Italian colonies, received some AS-42s that were used for patrolling and security tasks in the Italian cities in 1943, after the loss of all the Italian colonies. After the fall of the Royal Italian Army, the PAI was equipped with 15 AS-42s of different versions coming from the Battaglione d'Assalto Motorizzato of the Royal Italian Army. The PAI was then tasked with public safety duties. On 23rd March 1943, some of these AS-42 trucks with elements of the Barbarigo Battalion of the 10th Flotilla MAS were involved in patrols after the partisan attack on Via Rasella in the center of Rome. On June 4, 1944, during the defense of Rome, one of the PAI's camionette, armed with a Breda 2065 model 1935 autocannon, accidentally came across an M4 Sherman on the Via Nazionale and was hit by a 75mm shell that pierced the front of the camioneta destroying the front and the spare wheel of this vehicle. After the Allied capture of the Italian capital, the PAI handed over all its equipment to the state police. Among the vehicles surrendered were 12 camionette of the Metropolitana and Sahariana versions. Another Italian corps that used the AS-42 was the Battaglione Barbarigo of the 10th Flotilla MAS, which had 20 AS-42 Metropolitane and AS-43 taken directly from the factories. They were used in the Netuno area against the American and Canadian forces which tried to break through the Italian lines, inflicting heavy losses. A pair of AS-42 type Metropolitane were built in Turin factories starting on April 25, 1945 in order to defend the factories and their assembly lines from German sabotage. These camionette can be distinguished from the others by some steel plates on the sides and on the back of the fighting compartment, about one meter in height, behind which the partisans used their weapons while being protected from enemy fire. One of these vehicles participated in the partisan parade on May 6, 1945, along with another Metropolitana without any of these changes, that was used as a command vehicle and then disarmed. 
seven AS-42s that survived the war were used by Italian police departments and repainted in amaranth red, the Italian post-war police color. They were employed, after several modifications, including the removal of the anti-tank guns, the pioneer tools and jerry cans, by different departments of the Italian state police in Udine and Bologna until 1954. Some were put into service in the 11th moving department in Emilia Romana until 1954. These cars were supported by AB41, AB43 and Lancia Lince armored cars. An unknown number of AS-42s were produced for the police after the war and were delivered in January 1946. All the camionetta used in the North African campaign were painted in the traditional sand yellow or Saharan khaki colors. Those produced for use in the European theater and those of the PAI were painted with reddish brown and dark green spots on the Saharan khaki. Those of the Ramke division had the continental camouflage but, in winter and in Russia, these camionette were covered with white lime applied with brushes to cover the continental camouflage. Later, in the summer, this was scraped away to return them to the original free tone colors. A second model, called Sahariana II or Tipo II, more commonly known as the Metropolitana, entered service in Italy in 1943. It differed from the first model by the absence of the two upper rows of petrol tanks, replaced by two large boxes that held ammunition. With the remaining 14 jerry cans, 4 for water and 10 for fuel, the maximum range went down to about 1,300 kilometers. These jerry cans were almost never carried, because such long ranges were not needed on the continent and the danger posed by transporting so much fuel during urban fighting was too much. The two perforated plates for unditching the vehicle were also removed, as they were now useless. However, the four pins that fixed them in place were retained. Two large boxes for tools were added on the upper part of the two rear mudguards. Furthermore, this version was equipped with the new 11.5 by 24 Pirelli Artiglio, Sigillo Verde and Riflex type tires, adapted to the continental terrain and tempered climate. The Metropolitane version seems to have not been armed with Solton S18-1000 anti-tank rifles. These camionette were only armed with the 47mm anti-tank guns and Breda 20mm rapid-fire cannons. The AS-42 Sahariana was designed for the transport of men and material during desert incursions. Its low profile allowed it to hide behind the dunes and ambush the enemy, and its great range allowed units to chase the opposing troops for long distances. Unfortunately, it was introduced into service in the African campaign too late and in too small numbers. It was a successful vehicle and saw significant use in both the Sahariana and Metropolitana versions. It fought in Africa, Italy, France and on the Eastern Front, with good results and was used by the Italian police after the war. That's all for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell button. We'll be releasing new videos on the regular. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or Reddit. If you use Discord, there's a link to our community server in the description. And if you would like to help us continue to develop and expand, please consider donating on Patreon or PayPal. All of the funds will be used to help us enhance and design new articles and features for you. Until next time, keep us in your sights.